वेलकम बैक टू स्टडी विद आर के फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी उत्तरायण टू वन एंड ऑल सिंस वी हैव गॉट मैसेव सपोर्ट इन प्रीवियस गेस्ट लेक्चर सेशन वी आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू अरेंज मोर सच वीडियोज नाउ बिफोर वी बिगिन विद टूडे सेशन टू ऑल द सब्सक्राइबर्स टू लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो टू दोस्त हु आर वॉचिंग द चैनल फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम do subscribe study with rk now in today's session we are going to learn about human chromosomes and karyotyping now chromosomes you already know that it's a thread like structure of nucleic acids and the protein found in nucleus of most living cells also chromosome carries genetic information in the form of genes there are 23 pair of chromosomes in normal human being among these 22 are called autosomes and one pair is sex chromosomes autosomes are same in appearance of male and female but sex chromosomes are different sex chromosomes contains specific kind of genes with the help of which we can identify sex of any individual that whether they are male or female now female carries xx chromosome and male carries xy chromosome now after staining after we stain it mitotic chromosome or in mitotic division chromosome have a banded structure that will identify each chromosome of karyotype we will use jimsa stain to stain the chromosome the banding pattern is also called as g banding now in bending dark region is heterochromatic and adenine and thymine rich or at rich whereas light region is euchromatic and guanine cytosine rich which is gc rich now what do you mean by karyotyping so karyotyping basically is a technique which is used to study chromosomes in a sample of cells which can help to identify genetic disorders or genetic disease now what is the process of karyotyping how will you carry out the technique of karyotyping so first what you need to do is you need sample of wbc white blood cells samples you will need for that you need sample of blood the sample of blood is centrifuged in centrifugation process is done and by that you will be able to separate wbc from blood now in that wbc samples we need to add pha which is phytohemagglutinin it is basically added to stimulate cells now cells will divide into mitosis now in that mitosis stage colchicine is added after adding colchicine cells will basically arrest at metaphase stage cells will get stop you know that cell division is a continuous process but after we add colchicine the division will stop at metaphase stage these arrested cells is now treated with hypotonic saline solution after we add hypotonic saline solution cells will swell up now due to that swell up chromosomes will become clearly visible you will be able to clearly see the chromosome under the microscope now that chromosomes are stained with 
trims are stained after we have stained it bending pattern will be observed in chromosomes now among that suitable metaphase spread of chromosome is photographed now in that from that photograph individual chromosomes are cut down and that pieces of chromosomes which we have individually cut are arranged in descending order and in homologous pairs or in similar pairs so the same process is pictureized here you need to take 5 ml of venous blood add phytohemoglobinin and also culture medium culture is kept for 3 days at 37 degrees celsius after that add colchicine and hypotonic saline solution which will fix the cells you need to take suitable spread of cells into slide add trypsin and also stain it with gymsa analyze the metaphase spread photograph it and cut the photograph of individual chromosomes arrange it in descending order and in homologous pair it will create a whole karyotype now what is the reason of karyotyping so the main purpose is to locate or to visualize the changes in the number of chromosome and also to study abnormality in the structure of chromosome if any abnormality is present in the structure of chromosome you can easily study it with the help of karyotyping also to locate the evolution now what is the background of karyotyping see karyotyping is basically based on three main points size of chromatids bending patterns and centromeric positions or the position of centromere basically now karyotype only when the cells are dividing chromosomes in a cell are visible as i said before if you want to clearly visualize the chromosomes you will only be able to see it during division of cells and that too in particular at metaphase stage chromosomes are easy to see at metaphase stage as i said metaphase spreads are selected and photographed in order to analyze it now from the photograph individual chromosomes are cut the chromosomes are then arranged in homologous pairs or similar pairs and the homologous homologous pairs basically are placed in descending order according to its size and a picture of chromosomes arranged in such a pattern is known as karyotype now see on this side you can see metaphase chromosomes spread suitable spread which you have taken for your study it is basically photographed and arranged properly that is spread arranged in karyotype now it seems that you have got the idea about karyotype and technique karyotyping now labeling is also important over here see list the number of chromosomes found in the karyotype example 46 right basically 23 pairs so 46 now list the type of sex chromosomes found in karyotype sex chromosomes for example say x x chromosome now list abnormalities if you found any abnormality in size or structure of chromosome you need to list it down at appropriate chromosome number now see 1 2 and 3 scientists use these three key features to identify chromosome first one is size of chromosome second one is bending pattern and third one is centromere position now 
Now classification of chromosomes for karyotyping. Chromosomes are classified into various groups for its karyotyping process. Group A consists of 1 to 3 chromosomes which are largest and metacentric. Group B consists of 4 and 5 chromosomes which are large and submetacentric. Group C consists of 6 to 12 chromosomes which are medium in size and submetacentric. Group D will be of 13, 14 and 15 chromosomes medium in size and acrocentric. Group E will be 16 to 18 chromosomes short metacentric or submetacentric. Group F will be of 19 and 20th chromosomes short in size metacentric. Group G will be of 21, 22 chromosomes very short in size and acrocentric. So all these groups are divided basically to identify all for the classification of chromosomes for the purpose of karyotyping. Now what are the advantages or uses of karyotyping? Karyotyping can be used for the detection of chromosomal abbreviations, studying chromosome bending patterns, to study structural features of each chromosome, diagnosis of prenatal genetic defects, defects which are created in fetus or the young one which is not yet born. Such kind of genetic disorders are detected and also it helps to study evolutionary changes. Now I think you have got the idea about human chromosomes and chromo uh, karyotyping technique. If you liked it, do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you and now I shall see you on next video. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh.